Welcome back to our channel, Rick Nitha. Myself, Upashana Pandey. I'm a second professional MBBS student from Lila Tulsirkar Medical College and Hospital. This video is going to be a bit different. Why? Because today I'm going to take you the two of my team. And so this is basically going to be a study vlog. I was actually frustrated last night and I woke up frustrated as I woke up late. So I wanted to make the day productive. It became already 10 20 in the morning when I decided that I need to make it productive. I can't let it go this frustrated one because then I will really waste the whole day. This is me. This is me. This is me. And if I start being frustrated, then I am frustrated for the whole day. So I wanted to put the end here and so the first thing when I want to track change my track that I do is that <clears throat> I write down the things that I want to do the whole day. So you can see. I write on my whiteboard. So let's see how much I can accomplish today. Let's start. Waking up at 9.20, I was damn frustrated. My morning works were even late. So at around 10.30, I realized that I need to do something. I make the to-do list. And this is around 10.40 am. I'm starting with the mycology portion. I intend to complete the subcutaneous diseases. I've already done the superficial diseases and uh, if possible I will take up the systemic diseases at the later portion of the day. I have already attended my DBMC life classes. So the approach to study is quite easy. But there are a hell lot of names. I need to keep them in my mind. I started with the revision of the dermatophytes that I have read the last day. And then I started with the Madura Mycosis. Oops, I forgot to introduce you all with my book. This is the PDF of Apurva Sastri. I won't buy the book because reading from iPad is quite friendly and even advantageous. See, I'm making rough work on the PDF itself. <laughs> nice cycle of write, erase and rewrite. Wow. While reading Mycetoma, I tried grasping everything sequentially. That is starting with the clinical manifestations. Here, the causative agents for each granules. <sighs> I'm sure I will retain them with gradual practice. The specimen collection, the examination, it took time to grasp. Hope quite a number of practice will make it easier. Like I am trying to utter the names. For a clinical manifestation, child is important for mycetoma. That is swelling, discharge from that swelling and the presence of the granules in that discharge. This does not end here. Four types of granules. Black, white for you mycetoma and white to yellow and pink to red for actinomycetoma like I will say Madurella mycetomates but I like the nocardia not <laughs> after completing mycetoma I read chromoblastomycosis a few causative agents like phylophora verrucosa nice na then I pick up rhinosporidiosis Rhinosporidium severi, the causative agent. While studying the names, I was constantly writing and rewriting them. This helps me preserve them well. By the side, I was constantly taking notes. I love taking notes. This helps me a lot. What about you all? Take the suggestion. Keep writing. This won't harm you, rather help you out a lot. Then I took a chai break. Aha. Then inflammation and repair. First of all, I did watch a video from Igor Kul. Then I took my favorite robins and notes by my side as you always know it. Illustrative diagrams, devils, flowcharts make it very easy for me. I love taking dual notes both on iPad and copy. I continued reading the chapter for a while.
okay then i woke up from study and then took my bath and then took my lunch and it was a long family time i love those times those enchants me and boosts me up how do you like do you like now spending time with your family yes spend it more because now you have the time okay then as you can see i was making some pdfs maybe something new is coming or just i can add more to my telegram maybe something new is on the way okay so i was making the pdf of uh, deep palmer arts and superficial palmer arts just add a bit more to my supex pala treasury okay then i compiled with some notes and then um, so many photos just to make it beautiful and then let's see yeah i revised the diseases of mycology once more i revised those chromoblastomycosis rhinosporidiosis and continued taking their notes which i missed in the morning as you can see that easy cycle of write erase and rewrite just to retain the names this is good i like this method actually dr nazir sir's lectures made the study a lot easy then i switched to sporotrichosis and as said by our nazir sir the sequence of the subcutaneous diseases was like madura mycosis sporotrichosis wow i love that scent now this is sporotrichosis how can i miss saying sporotrich shanky i love the name okay this was quite easy disease and it didn't take much time to complete because no such more causative agents to remember only clinical manifestation those are super conceptual and i love this one and you see i was i was taking so many notes 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 reading taking notes practice this cycle you will retain things better just give me the feedback follow this and give me the feedback then somehow i completed the subcutaneous diseases now i am supposed to switch to pharmacology kd tripathi my favorite one no before that i took a break it was a very very long break i needed to study but i took a break i need to eat i managed time for that then i took a break i took a break i took a break yeah i know i ran very bad but still it was a try okay and then i continued in is the anticholinergic drugs i started by revising the receptors and then i continued with the system their mechanism antagonist agonist and many more as you can see i was taking the notes continuous notes and i was jotting down the name of the drugs along with their function on a separate page which i add to my notes and that's all for my pharmacology for today so this was a time i was brushing up my concepts of supex like i was uh, studying about the nerve injuries and i'm going to make subsequent videos on this a uh, super exposition so this is uh, just a bit um, brushing of my anatomy knowledge and then i will go for some mcqs uh, a day or two later then i can say that okay i'm done with this super wala portion i can keep it for now and can mainly focus on other topics so guys uh, as you can see i started with the e gurukul video which said taught said taught awesome then i switched to uh, some of the youtube videos for the muscles and then i read our honored dr ekidatta sir's book so that my concepts are super clear how do you make it let me know so now i'm going to complete this editing of the first episode of two to our life fit upashna pande you will get to see a lot more on this episodes 
and I'm going to edit the video and schedule this for tomorrow morning 10 a.m. So let's see. So thank you guys for having patience and watching this lengthy video. Keep supporting. If you like this video, put a thumbs up, comment below and subscribe our channel if you are new here and keep motivating us for such awesome videos and lot more lectures are going to come and lot more episodes and new and new 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 topics that will be going to help you are going to come on this channel so keep supporting take care tata bye bye